In 1936, electricity in the rural areas was almost totally non-existent, especially in Logan County. We were the 18th cooperative in the entire United States to qualify with the RUS Rural Utility Service to receive loans to bring power to rural Logan County. Well, back when I started, there was a lot of the original membership in our systems, and it was the people who remembered the night that the lights came on. And a lot of Americans today do not remember that moment. Originally in 1935, when only 11% of the U.S. had electricity to the rural farms or homes, in comparison to Europe at that time that had over 90%, it was very apparent that something needed to be done. Franklin Roosevelt went to Congress as part of the New Deal and formed the Rural Electrification Administration. And they hired some of the brightest engineers in the United States at that time. And they developed a very simplified assembly line type strategy on how to build electric lines. They utilized high tensile strength conductor, which cut the amount of poles almost in half. So that tremendously lowered the cost per mile. Today, I feel we continue that practice. We're very streamlined and very efficient as a utility. We still build line cheaper than our competitors do and maintain it cheaper. We have five consumers per mile here at Mid-Ohio versus our competitors, which is 35 to 50, and yet we still provide it at near the same rate. One of the cooperative core principles is education of the membership. Now, we do that through Country Living Magazine, which each of our members receives every month. We do that through annual meetings, where we invite the members to come in and to hear reports and what's going on. We also have member aware meetings during the year, where we bring the members in in small groups. We take them on tours of the Cardinal Power Plant to educate them on what it really takes electricity, to educate them about energy efficiency, to help them understand renewables. So that's how we educate our members in accordance with our principles.